So, uh, have you ever wondered how to learn formulas in matrices? If you know the formulas, half the work is done. You can solve problems with these. At least you can start working with problems. So, in this video, in this podcast video, I will be giving you the formulas of matrices, the basic formulas of matrices that you need to know for class 12 mathematics. I am a math educator teaching math for over three decades and I have prepared these formulas keeping class 11 and 12 math students especially in mind. I hope this is useful to you. You can listen to these formulas when you are on the go and it will help you in your exam preparation. So we start with a square matrix. A square matrix is a matrix where number of rows equal to number of columns. A rectangular matrix is a matrix where number of rows is not equal to number of columns. Diagonal matrix is a square matrix where all the non-diagonal elements are zero. You can see that all the non-diagonal elements are zero. A scalar matrix is a diagonal matrix where all the diagonal elements are equal. So if all the diagonal elements are A, 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 it is a scalar matrix. Identity matrix is a diagonal matrix where all the diagonal elements are unity. So identity matrix is a diagonal matrix but all the diagonal elements are 1. It's also a scalar matrix, identity matrix. Now what is a zero matrix? A zero matrix or null matrix is a matrix in which all the elements are zero. Coming to matrix multiplication, Two matrices A and B can be multiplied if the number of columns of the first matrix equal to number of rows of the second matrix. So if A has M rows and N columns, B has N rows and P columns, number of columns of A is N equal to number of rows of B which is P, so the product will have M rows and P columns. So you take the number of rows of A and the number of columns of B, that will be the product matrix AB. Is matrix multiplication commutative? No. In general, matrix multiplication is not commutative. AB not equal to BA in general. But there may be cases where it is commutative, but in general it is not commutative. Matrix multiplication is associative. That means AB bracket C equal to A bracket BC. Transpose of a matrix A is the matrix obtained by interchanging the rows and columns. So the first row becomes the sec first column, second row becomes the second column and likewise. And it is denoted by either A dash or A transpose. Some basic properties of transpose you need to know, namely A transpose transpose is A. What is transpose of K A where K is a scalar? It is K times A transpose. Again A plus B transpose will be A transpose plus B transpose. And A, what is AB transpose? That is B transpose into A transpose. A matrix A is said to be symmetric if A transpose equal to A. And what about skew symmetric matrices? A matrix A is said to be skew symmetric if A transpose equal to minus A. If A is a square matrix with real entries, A plus A transpose is symmetric and A minus A transpose is skew symmetric. And based on this, we have a very important formula and that is any square matrix A can be expressed as the sum of a symmetric and skew symmetric matrix. How will you do that? You write it as A plus A transpose by 2. You start with A, you write A as A plus A transpose by 2. This is the symmetric part plus A minus A transpose by 2. This is the skew symmetric part. This is a very important formula and used very often in problems. If A is a square matrix of order n, if you can find another square matrix B of order n, such that AB equal to BA equal to I, then B is the inverse of A denoted by A inverse. So for A inverse, AB equal to BA equal to I. What about inverse of a square, ma square matrix? Can there be two inverses? No. Inverse of a square matrix, if it exists, is unique. If A and B are invertible matrices of the same order, then A, B inverse equal to B inverse, A inverse. So these are some of the basic formulas in matrices. And if you still need help, you can contact me for online tutoring. I can help you build up your scores in mathematics. 
I cover MCQs, assertion based questions, case study based questions and long answer questions. There are regular tests and assessments. You can find a few more fellow students and join the class along with me or you can opt for a one on one online tutoring. If not, just make use of this video and thank you until we meet again.